everyone. I'm Queen Amadai Shakur. Thank you for tuning in once again to the original Queen Amadai Shakur show and also to those of you tuned in on the Queen Amadai Shakur TV show. Okay, so this is the first dose of your daily vitamins. So let's get into it. This is a grisly story. It's purely depraved and heinous. Okay, I don't know what is going on with people in the world, but some people are absolutely sick. Please pay attention. Mother and daughter are accused of taking the life of the 71-year-old grandmother. Afterwards, they dismembered her with a chainsaw before burning her remains on a grill. Okay, the cops noticed the smell of decomposing body uh, when they came to do a welfare check. This is all sick. So now the mother and daughter duo are in custody. Okay, for the alleged murder of the 71-year-old grandmother, whose decomposing remains were sniffed out by police after she had been dismembered with a chainsaw and burned on a charcoal grill. Candace Craig, age 44, is accused of taking the life of her mother, Margaret Craig, and enlisting in the help of her 19-year-old daughter, Celia Hardy, okay, to dispose of the body. This is according to Prince George's County Police. They say officers on Friday conducted a welfare check on the matriarch at the Landover, uh, at the Landover, Maryland, and immediately smell the odor of decomposition. They discovered what appeared to be brain matter in open trash bags. This is all so sick. Like who in their right mind could even view such things as, as much less carry out these nefarious acts on someone who brought you into this world? This is all crazy. Now, both Candace and Celia are in custody of the Prince George's County Department of Corrections and face charges in Margaret Craig's death. I'll show you these thugs in a minute because this is all sick. Police claim Candace allegedly murdered her mother on May the 23rd following an altercation and then had her daughter help to dispose of the remains, which had been reported, uh, which had which were reportedly kept in a blue bin in her bedroom. This is all crazy. So you're going to take your mother's life dismember her body, put it on a grill and burn it, and then put it in a container and have it in your bedroom. This all sounds like Norman Bates from Psycho. Please pay attention. Now, while police are still working on identifying a motive, uh, who cares what the motive is? Pure nefariousness, wickedness, and just sick-minded people is the motive, if you ask me. Court documents allege that Margaret had threatened to report the daughter, Candace, to the police for fraudulent use of her credit card. So she did all this. Honey, you might as well have just gone and taken the charge for credit cards uh, fraud as opposed to all this. Now you're going to get a whole life sentence and clearly first degree murder, which is capital murder, which could likely land them with the death penalty. OK, now. Defendant two, Sally Hardy, stated that the defendant threatened to report her daughter, uh, defendant one, Candace Craig, uh, to the police for fraudulent use of her credit card. Defendant one then attacked the decedent, the decedent, according to court records, and the alleged attack happened just nine days after Mother's Day this year. Okay, so in 2021, Candace had posted a heartfelt message to her mom on her Facebook page. Happy Mother's Day to the number one woman in my life. I hope you have an awesome and peaceful day. I don't get to say this every day, but I love you very much to the moon and back. This is what she said. And then you did all of this. Oh, so crazy. Now, police responded to the family home at the 200 block of Hill Road at about 1.35 p.m. on Friday after an identified, unidentified caller uh, made a call to 911 and said that they had not heard from Margaret Craig and were worried about her welfare. Candace Craig answered the door and allowed officers inside to search the home. Clearly, she wasn't very smart. You have a whole decomposing body in your house. And you're going to let the cops in without a warrant. That's all crazy. Uh, when police entered the basement, uh, they recognized the smell of pure, uh, putrefaction and observed blood and tissue on the floor near where uh, near three white plastic trash bags. The documents also revealed that police found a knife on the basement floor and recovered a chainsaw, cutting utensils, cleaning materials scattered nearby and found blood spattered throughout the entire basement. Sounds like a horror movie that I don't want to watch. The detectives of the homicide unit will ensure a thorough investigation is conducted and that both suspects are held accountable for their cruel and criminal behavior. This is what Major David Blazer, commander of the Major Crimes Division in Prince George's County, said in a statement. Candace Craig is charged with first, first and second degree murder. Her daughter Celia Hardy is charged with accessory after the fact. A preliminary hearing for Candace is scheduled for July the 3rd. She's been held without bond. 
Well, she's clearly a, a threat to the community, a danger to the community. If you do this to your own mother, what would you do to somebody else? So she definitely needs no bond as far as I'm concerned. This is all real crazy. But let me show you the pictures of these thugs. Don't forget to get those likes up. Y'all know they have Queen Shadow Band. Please pay attention. So here's the mother who did this. Candace Craig, 44 years old. This is the fool that did it. Took her old mother's life, dismembered her body, and cooked it on a grill. This is the granddaughter, Celia Hardy, who's 19 years old. Now she's going to spend her days in prison, not her whole life, but of course, she's going to be in prison and going to have a whole felony because of her mother getting her involved in this foolishness. This is the grandmother, okay? And so it's all very sad. And here's, here's the picture that she posted on her social media in 2021, talking about how much she loved her to the moon and back. Uh, clearly, uh, clearly she had no love for anyone other than herself because here's the thing, if she knew that she had fraudulently used her mother's credit card, why not just pay the money back? Beg her forgiveness. Say you're sorry. Say what you have to say. Do what you have to do. Give back the money, but don't take her life. So you avoid jail, but now you're going straight to jail. Don't stop and go and don't collect $200. And then you're going to prison for life. Now, and then here's the thing. She got her daughter involved in this. Now she's ruined her daughter's life. Clearly someone who cares about no one but themselves. I just want you all to pay attention. This is all so sick. Okay, please let me know what you think about it because I find it all very sad and completely disgusting that someone would do this to an elder, 71 year old. That lady looked marvelous for her age, by the way. Okay, the grandmother. But for them to do this to her, her own daughter, this just goes to show sometimes you can raise people and bring them up in this world and afford them all of the privileges and give them everything you can and work hard and sacrifice to help them to become a productive member of society. And those same people that you raise can turn around and do something like this to you. Also said, anyway, with that all being said, everyone, please like and share, subscribe to the channel. Please make sure you share this video. I'm shadow banned. You all know it. Uh, so with that all being said, I wish you all love, peace, and prosperity. Each one, teach one. That's how we grow and thrive. Do something productive, constructive, but never destructive. And always remember, beloveds, to keep the most high first in your lives.